Hello folks. Well today is another experiment for my helicopters that may start something like my ETRM electric tail rotor motors did back in the 70s. This is a picture of the first one. Videotapes and pictures were sent all over the world to magazines etc and now most small helicopters and tail rotors are ETRMs. I would never had known without actually trying it whether it'd work or not. Same with the Hyperfly helicopter I designed for Kyosho with no tail rotor. I had to try it first. So those that follow my channel know I put up a video on one bladed props with complete success. Many folks said how about a one bladed helicopter Dave? Well I figured it would be pretty easy to make that design. So not only did I take away one rotor blade, I took away the tail rotor too. The original Hyperfly flew on a very heavy NICAD battery of 208 grams, 8.4 volts for about 4 minutes. Today I'm going to attempt to fly on a 2 cell LiPo at only 7.4 volts. So there's the wind today. Here's what I've got. I've got my Hyperfly, which I invented for the guy that already knew how to fly uh, airplanes and uh, just wanted to learn how to fly without hovering. So it was originally two channel and when you came in to land, first of all, you would turn this on wide open. It would be wide open and you just hand launch it into forward flight. And as the battery ran down, you would come in and land it. It would shut off the power like that. And uh, by popular demand, I've been asked to try to make a helicopter with a single rotor blade. So not only does this not have a tail, which draws about 35% of power on a regular helicopter, no tail rotor, it has only one rotor blade. <laughs> So we're going to give it a shot right now, folks, and see what happens. One rotor blade. On with the radio. Arming. Well, as you can see here, I'm jockeying the throttle around, I'm doing some torque turns and jockeying to get left and right and just testing it out. You're going to see more in this video. It just shows that a single blade really handles well. One rotor blade. Well, it hardly needs any power to fly. Look at that. And no tail rotor. In the day, the Hyperfly was uh, marginally acceptable, didn't fly very long, but this is a real pleasure. This thing has gobs of power, especially with no blade interference there. One rotor blade. <laughs> If you're not sure and you don't understand why the one blade is better, and mostly because it doesn't run into interference or turbulence from the other blade, please see my other video where I put it on a model airplane, single bladed prop. Hardest part for me here is seeing it. Holy mackerel. One broader blade. <laughs> it's amazing. Second time around. I'm gonna use a lot less power this time because don't need it all. <laughs> Here we go.
When you buy a set of blades, well, <laughs> you'll need one. You always got a spare. Radio on. I need to be over here because I almost killed myself trying to get off. <laughs> Arm. You notice the electric motor makes more noise than the blades. It's quieter too. I'm only at half throttle. Here we go, crank it up. All right. Gonna bring her around and land it here. <laughs> Is that something else or what? It's totally weird, huh? Hardly any power to fly it. <laughs> hey, Mr. River Science, but. Start here first, folks. Well, I'm really happy that worked way better than I expected. <laughs>